Yeah, Mike check one two one two. It's your boy Mike Barber. You watching Video City right now? Number one, cause the street said so. <laughs> What's poppin'? It's your girl Dominique the VJ. Yes, I'm in the K9 store in the Bronx for another Hot Top 5 video countdown. I'm here with Quay. Miss Emmy Rose herself. Yes, and I love her fashion. I'm always wearing one of her designs. Either it's a piece of earring, glasses, whatever. I love her. So tell them what I'm wearing right now. What she's wearing is a tutu with a plastic tint on it. With a halter to top, a black halter to top and some designer gold shoes to match her swag up top with them designer gold glasses. Emmy Rose is in the building. Yes, so, so how long you been doing this? I've been doing this since 2008. And what I basically do is I put things together and recycle everything that I do and just set new trends. That's what's up, so you keep it classy for us. Yes, like always. So are you ready for the number five video? Yeah. At number five, we have DJ Dead Eye featuring Rex and Easy Money. And we have Ghetto with Superstar Snook with Get Out Our Way. Get out. <laughs> We coming, hunting, you should be fearful. So just look over shoulders, adjust your rear view. Ear full of that heat, provided by street official missiles. I get better beats, courtesy of God. I'm long as awesome, ready. This shit gonna be a problem. Vicious lyrics, we got them. Itching from out the bottom. Make way for the underdog, double men's and coffin. Dropping balls like thief when the cops' lights is on. A Rex in the ST squadron, feeling hungry in the rap game. Look edible, bet I fill up my tummy before the skies got sunny. I was bummy on the ground, now the Sunshine upon me, I got money on my mind, I'm here to stay. Many came and failed, but with prevail, cause hey, it made double dollars for real. Y'all niggas know the deal. When it feel opportunity pass, get out our way. We the future mass. You better Let's get, get it. out our way. Oh, y'all better make way for the squad. This ain't a facade. Y'all niggas better pray to you. You know we hit us dead. This MCs came and MCs went. We hit up what I name in the cement. I told yeah. you we was cause whether you born or not, ain't no more warning. Shots we warn our spot. To start running. And my niggas is hot on your heels Ain't no yeah. option to fail So let's get it poppin' for uh, real Ain't no more waiting for bucks Ain't no more waiting for us Ain't no more easy monies Or ghettos or rexes or snucks They just running round Dumb and down So they wanna be that If only they could see that Don't nobody believe that So I gotta get going I'm knowing that everything that I do Show them incredible Finna go get them already for damn it Better than you Hold up Let me get back to it I am just that fluent It's viewing beautiful music All over the map Use it and tell me what you would do If you actually Last through it, and they keep putting walls in your way, but you gon' bash through it. Pass through it, it's time to go further than expected. I'ma burst in a second if my words are neglected. I'm the motherfucking mayor, the superstar of the city. Come follow me, they hollering, got the squad in it with me. No STB styling, come on, ladies, piling with me and EZ to the Fiji Islands. Now everybody wanting me on they album. Figured I'd give them a whack verse, but me, I don't have one. So tell Mr. Green to get the shit out today. I'm finna get paid now, motherfucker. Get we are here with the lovely ladies, the personalities themselves. How are you tonight? Creator, create, uh uh. Start over. We're here with the ladies, creators, and executive producers. Go ahead. Did you hear Give that? She wants everyone to know that they are the creators and executive producers. It is on. How are you tonight? We're blessed. Great. How are you? Fantastic. Tell us what you guys have on and what did it take to prepare for this evening? <laughs> My goodness. Well, you don't want to know my story. I'm a mommy mogul, okay? So it took a lot for me to prepare. It took a lot for me just to walk out the house. She was tardy. She's crying. always late. So, yes, I am. But this here, Diva, who's still uh, single and sexy. That would be correct. Single, yeah. sexy, and free. I'm right. not single, pal. <laughs> Understand that in your face. <laughs> So tell us what really happened between you all and T.O. You know, everyone wants to know what happened. We can't tell you. Right. We said enough. But what he said, honestly, we're not surprised. I mean, he's going through a lot. And we're going to handle this with class and not show our ass. When he said, quoted, friends are not friends. How do you guys respond to that? Oh, he we, knows we, yeah. he, he knows we his friends. Right. And he knows. Like, you know what, honestly, we're more like family. We've been with him for over 12 years. We've been through the highs and lows. We've been there through births, deaths, you name it. We can claim it, okay? So what he's saying out front Really, I mean, we're not shy. Rub us. It, you know, it, it's not rubbing me any kind of way. It's, it's not rubbing her. I'll be honest with you. Um, I did break down a little bit. You know, I was hurt. 
because there are so many things that we've been through collectively as a trio. If you look at Three's Company, remember uh, Chrissy wasn't talking to Jack and Janet and all those things went on behind the scenes, but for us, it's reality. And it, and it is hurtful. You know, I mean, there's been times where, you know, we've had kumbaya sessions where it's just the three of us and we talk about our fears, we talk about our goals. Um, and even when we created the show, it was for him. You know what I mean? It was for him. It was for him to change his brand, for people to see him differently. The movie he's promoting, Dysfunctional Friends, we got that movie audition for him. We put that on our show so people could take him seriously as an actor. So we go out of our way. T.O. does not pay us, meaning we don't work for Terrell Owens Enterprises. Monique and I are businesswomen, so he's not our only client. We're going to continue to do business as we've done in the past. We work for Def Jam. You know, Russell Simmons Company, and we were there for years working with phenomenal artists, you know, from Jay Z to Ludacris to Mariah Carey, Kelly Price. You know, so for us, we understand that artists are used to being in the spotlight, and when that spotlight gets dim, they don't know what to do. And right now, he's going through a lot. So, how do you spend $80 million? I don't know. Ask him. What happened? Ask him. What, what advice would you give to your clients if they had $80 million? Save it. Save it? <laughs> yeah. And prepare for the lockout? You know what, real, oh, and, and, and seriously, though. You don't want to hear what no, I'm saying. No, I do want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> On a serious note, he's not the only athlete that's gone through it. I mean, if you get $80 million and you calculate, a lot of us aren't going to make that in our lifetimes. Right. But, you know, poor decisions, trusting the wrong people. Um, and that's why we've never handled Terrell's money, ever. We've never written a check. We've never used his credit card without permission. Um, and for us, it's, it's, it's honestly about learning. You know, if you come from an environment where, you know, your mama uh, lives paycheck to paycheck, how do you handle $80 million? Um, so it's some mishaps, but you should learn from your mistakes. And we believe that, you know, he'll rebuild, he'll rebuild again. So tell us about Define Your Pretty and what it means to you. Well, Define Your Pretty is a concept that Keita and I came up with. Actually, it's a movement. It's a movement with a message that motivates. And it was important for us. We worked in the industry for years, all of our lives, actually, in entertainment. And the message that was being sent out to the women, in particular, um, were, were messages that weren't so positive. You see girls in videos, halfway naked, shaking it up on, up on guys, up on guys with, you know, gold chains in the cars and stuff. You see girls now in reality TV throwing punches and calling each other ignorant names. Are we going to see that on your reality show? Never. Absolutely. That's, that's not who we are. Um, but you see that on a lot of shows. Yeah, and, and, and what we had to do was take on ownership, take on, take back the responsibility. We worked in PR and marketing, so we were kind of selling that image out to people, saying, this is hot, this is glamorous, this is sexy, this is cool. And the truth of the matter, it isn't. And I'm not defined by who I know, the clothes I wear, and what I drive. You or know? who I sleep with. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, it, so we send a message out to the girls saying that, you know, pretty doesn't define me. I define my own pretty, meaning I am pretty talented. I'm pretty vocal. I'm pretty creative. I'm pretty controlled. Cause she was pretty late today to this event. That's all right, but I was pretty determined to come because I am a pretty mommy mogul and my house comes first before anything. But Kelly, Kelly's my girl. She was pretty determined, pretty strong, pretty talented. That's enough pretties. Well, I think you two need your own reality show because you guys are just hilarious, just the oh, two of you. Girl, don't, don't let Terrell say that. Girl. <laughs> Might get you guys in some trouble. It already is. Come on, real, real, Joe, real, real talk though. I think what people have got to understand is, is that when you're on television and whether you're playing a role or not, you had, you ultimately have an automatic responsibility. And for Monique and I, we were the first sports reality show on VH1 before Basketball Wives, before La La Show, before you know Baseball Wives, Love and Hip Hop. We were the first women of color on a show where we were professional. We weren't on the show because of who we slept with, who we were engaged to. You know, we're hardworking women. I have an MBA. You know, and with that comes a lot of hard work. And and I'll be daggone. D-A-M-N, if I'm going to let anyone ruin my reputation or diminish what I've worked hard for. So with Define Your Pretty, we realize it's important for women to realize that you don't have to shake your ass at the club to get attention. You know what I'm saying? You sit us up here. Keep your legs crossed and your mind open. So all I say is we're all pretty phenomenal women out here. So when you define your own pretty, check us out at defineyourpretty.com. And um, we're going to be doing a lot more things. Absolutely. We love this movie. We definitely are going to support you guys. What's your pretty? I'm pretty fabulous. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's right. Nice to meet you guys. Nice Thank, you. You. Thank you. Hey, Video City. This is your girl, Toya Times. We are here at Drome in New York City. Here for Mike Check Wednesdays with DJ Spinfo, Mike Barber, Miss Mo Brown Sugar. And I'm here with Omar the Comedian. How you doing tonight? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm relaxing. We were here. We watched you perform. Funny as hell. Tell me, where you from? 
Harlem, New York, east side and west side. Really? Really? Wow. <laughs> okay, so tell me, what about your, your ventures that you have coming up? You told us about In Living Color. Talk about that. Um, right now, I do uh, four weekly comedy shows, one in Harlem, one in the Bronx, one in Brooklyn, one in Queens, every week. Um, I, hopefully, God willing, I'll be in Living Color, I'll be in, in Living Color pretty soon. Nice. Um, this summer, I'm set to do a world tour. Um, is it with um, Korea, Germany? God's good. God's good. Yeah, yeah. You trying, so, to pay that, trying to pay that back rent. Back rent. <laughs> <laughs> that back rent. How did you come across um, this venue right now? How did you know and link up with Spinfo and Mike Barber? Oh, I know Spinfo for a while now, man. I met him at um, my boy Cypher Sounds comedy show, and since then we've been doing shows together all the time. And are you going to be doing any more shows in the future? Of course. I don't stop. I'm on the grind, baby. You know, the back rent tour never ends. We all try to pay that back rent. So <laughs> stay out of the house in the court. <laughs> all right. Tell your followers how they can follow you, Facebook and all of that. You can follow me at Omar the Comedian. Um, you can uh, go to my website, omarthecomedian.com. Or you can go, go to my, uh, my eHarmony, Omar the Comedian. I, I need a date. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Omar, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you. What's up, Video City TV here, and we're rocking out at the Urban Music Explosion. My name is Elise Ellie, and I'm here with... Will Sullivan, live in the flesh. Will Sullivan, that's what's up. So you're out here, you're promoting a mixtape? Yeah, I got a new mixtape out here called uh, Dangerous Venice. I'm here to perform a couple of cuts out of there. We catch the shot right there. Beautiful. Okay, that's what's up. So let me see this artwork here. So do you have any other artists that you're working with that you want to promote? You want to give a shout out to anybody? I want to get a shout out to Catacomb Music, Allergic to Broke, MogulMediaTV.com, Up and Coming Entertainment in the whole Queens, Brooklyn, Tri-State area, New York City. And where can we reach you at? Do you have a Twitter, Facebook? People can contact you if they want to work with you. Yeah, you holler at me at Will Sullivan 718 on Twitter. Who is Will Sullivan on Facebook? Okay, that's what's up. Any other shout outs? Any other thing you want to talk about? Let the people know? I just want to let everybody know that I'm a producer and a rapper right now, so I'm willing to work with anybody who's trying to really grind. All right? Okay, that's what's up. So we have Will Sullivan here. It's your girl, Miss Elise Ali. We're representing at the Urban Music Explosion. You're watching Video City TV. Stay locked. What's up, it's your girl, Dominic the VJ. It's Video City. It's the countdown. Coming to you at number four, we have Sam's F with Dizzy Izzy. I'm feeling dizzy, dizzy, room is spinning like the world is. 80s porn star, show your bitch just what a curl is. She jockin' and she love a nigga style, and it's that is so. If she missing it, you know exactly who your girl with. She ain't even thinking about you, she just took a drink about you. Told me that she's over it, you and her are over it. Bottles off, bottles bartending, how I'm pouring it. Hate, I'm ignoring it, so save it. Yo. I'm out of my mind, can't get in my zone, can't walk in my shoes, can't fit in my clothes, I'm so gone. Nigga, all of this dream, man, I'm getting too old, the club's now home, female dogs, she just wanna be bone. I wanna get stoned. Oh shit, just leave me alone. My group get super busy, busy, focused on the milli, so we party pretty hard, and I don't know what's gotten in me, but I'm feeling busy, busy. I'm feeling busy, busy. I swear I'm feeling busy, busy. I'm feeling busy, busy. My group get super busy. Focused on the milli, so we party pretty hard, and I don't know what's got in me.